Sound good? Yep. Okay. Do I look good? You look great. Okay. Trusting you here. Yeah, hair looks good. <sighs> right. Hey everyone, this is Tyler from Craft and Taylor. In this episode of Under the Radar, we're going over a very special 1970s Boucher chronograph. The reference is 651, and it has a Paul Newman type dial. Really special watch with some really cool aesthetic features. So very excited to get into this one with you here. Did we make that in time? Sure did. I feel like Indiana Jones. So the Bechere brand has existed in some form essentially since 1888, but they didn't bring watches into their product offering until 1919. And they didn't produce that many of their own watches. They were most well known for actually being a retailer for watches like Rolex, Longines, Omega, Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe. Similar in the way that Turler or Tiffany & Co or Gublin or what have you, insert brand name, signed on dial. They're very similar to a retailer in that way. However, like some of those retailers, they did produce watches under their own name, under their own line. And of those, some of the creations that came about were actually really interesting watches, like this 651 chronograph. So the biggest draw of this watch, obviously, is the dial. Like most watches, however, the dial in this watch is configured in a really interesting way. It almost looks upside down. It's this asymmetric format with a date that is very cool aesthetically, but the most interesting aspect to that is it is a Singer dial and features subdials that are the same font and Art Deco format as the Rolex Paul Newman chronograph or cosmograph that is you know, known and uh, beloved by many collectors as being one of the most important and influential watches in the world. Now, Singer was known for producing these dials with some different Art Deco formats, and they can be seen in a couple of different watch brands like Croton or Nevada Grenchen, did a lot with Paul Newman typefaces and Paul Newman type dials. Uh, Longines also had a couple of different Singer dials that also shared that sort of Art Deco format. However, it's very interesting to see it in this Bechere, especially because it shares that same Art Deco typeface in the subdials. However, they're bright blue as well. And it contrasts off of this sort of tropically aged silver vertically brushed dial that's kind of now more of this tan color. So there's a lot of different color combinations going on in this watch along with this Art Deco text and it's asymmetric dial layout, which makes it just super interesting. Any sort of lesser known brand that's had a Paul Newman type singer dial in it is always going to be extremely valuable just because of the weight and clout that this typeface on dials and in chronographs carries because of that Paul Newman Rolex name. I chose this one specifically because, well, it's not very common that I see these. I think um, to the more casual collector, they may know of what the Paul Newman Rolex is, but they may not know that other watches were produced with a similar typeface. And I think that sort of under the radar aspect of these watches is really cool because you can kind of get that aesthetic in its own way for the smallest percentage of what an actual Paul Newman would sell for today. And this Bechera actually has like a really cool heartbeat to it. It has a Lamagna 7765, which is an incredibly good movement. And La Mania is one of the most respected movement makers of the 20th century. And I just love the overall condition of this watch as a whole. It has a nice tanu case with really sharp brushing throughout. It wears fantastic on wrist. It's not too big, it's not too small. It wears perfectly. And I just love that pop of color with the blue and white on those Paul Newman-like subdials. So with that, I want to say thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of the asymmetric dial format. I think it's kind of a love it or hate it kind of thing, but I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. Be sure to hit the notification bell, like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at Craft and Tailored. Follow us on TikTok at Craft and Tailored. And if you have watch questions, we are here to help. You can drop us a line at info at craftandtailored.com. See you in the next one. So with that, I want to say thank oh, God.
It's Bustopia, man. Yeah. It's a new Pixar film. I think Zootopia was actually DreamWorks. So. <laughs> Doesn't make, make the joke any less funny. <laughs>